So the consensus seems to be that, you know, Gino's been doing an excellent job the past couple of weeks, but Dana continually refers to the fact that he can still grow a lot between now and, you know, even looking at next year. What areas can he get better at? Well, it, it's, again, it's just repetition and being put in situations out there. You know, Gino threw for 450 yards, but he did leave a lot of yards yeah. out there, which, you know, as coaches, we were perfectionists, and we try to train Gino to, you know, in reality of things, we try to score every single play, but it's really not going to happen. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Gino's just got to keep repping and keep getting better at what he's doing. Do you watch uh, Whedon at all and what he's doing this year? What are the things that he's doing that, that Gino maybe quite doesn't have in this offense just yet? What's it, he? If you look at what Brandon's doing right now, he's actually, his completion percentage is outrageous. Like, I think last week he had, like, four incompletions on the entire game. <laughs> and that's just because he's he's getting so used to the system that it becomes second nature to him. And I think Gino's evolving that way week by week. Is it a matter of what he's seeing or just making the throws or, or somewhere in between? or uh, Somewhere in between. It, it goes with everything, just knowing who your receivers are. You know, obviously, you know, uh, Brandon Whedon is thrown to Justin Blackman a, a thousand <laughs> times, you know, which those reps are pretty important. And, you know, we're still filling out some receivers. You know, Starks has been stepping up for us lately, which he was injured at the beginning of the year. But now Gino's starting to feel comfortable with throwing him the ball more. So a lot of it's just figuring out who he wants to go with the ball and, you know, just going out there and executing what we're trying to put in his head. At this point, are you pleased with Gino's completion percentage? You mentioned oh, yeah. that a lot of times it's been 60. I mean, this is where you figured it would be at this point. This, the... Yeah, this is about where we expected it to be. You know, he... We wish to complete every single pass, but uh, you know I'm pretty pleased with how he's throwing the ball right now. How about his reads and, and the, that kind of stuff? Is he is he reading the right plays, reading the right receivers at the right times? You know, sometimes he's caught in between. You know, I, I think his uh, the disadvantage of him sometimes is he tries to do too much. He's got to have faith in the system and just go out there and you know have faith in what we're doing. You know and. You know, and Coach Holgerson will lead him in the right direction to throw the ball at times, and sometimes he'll shy away from it because it kind of doesn't look appealing to your eyes. But, you know, that's just part of, you know, the whole coaching process of just, hey, believe in us. We're expecting you to go here with the ball, and things could work out if you go this way with it. The last three quarterbacks Coach Holgerson has worked with are currently all top five quarterbacks in passing the nation. Is that, that kind of hard to believe in for you as a coach? It, you know, I, no, I, I can – completely believe that you know it just you know it we at Oklahoma State we didn't throw the ball as much as like as we do here but we had so many yards because we we had such a good we had two good running backs that they're very experienced you know they're one was a senior one's playing for the 49ers right now which that opened up a lot for uh, Brandon which you know here at West Virginia we have to rely on Geno a lot more because we have young you know we're running backs where Garrison's evolving every single week, but you know, he's still a freshman, he's still getting used to the speed of the game. Which, you know, here we're relying on Geno to throw the ball around a lot more than what we did at Oklahoma State, but it doesn't surprise me at all with the yards that all three of those quarterbacks are putting up right now. They're just doing it in different ways. How do you ask Geno to approach the, the bye week? Uh, watch a lot of film or uh, just rest his arm, or what is it? Mainly get healthy you know like everybody's sore right now and you know six games that's a pretty long stretch but from the majority of it we're pretty healthy through it you know Gino needs to rest his arm a bit but he still needs to get in here and watch cut-ups and you know and normally we watch uh, the cut-ups of ourselves you know today we'll, we'll put an emphasis on what we need to get better at running our offense not really focus on Syracuse right now.